I think there are some green shoots of recovery coming through, but I don't think they necessarily amount to very much. What I think has happened is that the speed of deterioration has undoubtedly slackened, and in some quarters some signs of upturn. I think that's made people a fair bit more cheerful. But I think there's more bad news around the corner. I think it's not surprising that we've seen confidence return to the banking system in the sense that uh, banks will now lend to each other much more readily. And there's some signs of bank lending beginning to pick up a bit. But I don't think we'll see the crisis disappearing quite that easily. In particular, we'll see some lingering effects, I think, over a number of years, as bankers continue to be quite reluctant to lend. They'll only do so on, I think, quite extravagant margins compared to recently. And also, borrowers won't be that keen to borrow. So I'd be very surprised if bank lending increased very much over the next couple of years. I no longer think there's that much difference, actually, between the economy of the West Midlands and the economy of the UK overall. There used to be quite a big difference. There still is a bit in that there's more manufacturing here proportionately than in the rest of the country. Minor differences, unemployment slightly higher. But if you look at almost any indicator, frankly, the West Midlands is now pretty much slap bang in the middle of UK regions. I think it's pretty typical of the UK. So if you ask yourself the question, when is the West Midlands going to recover? I think the answer is quite simply, when is the UK going to recover? It's the same, same question, same answer. Uh, I'm sceptical that uh, next year is going to see much of a recovery for the UK and therefore for the West Midlands, but I think it could be getting worse still. But by the beginning of the following year, then I suspect things will start to get a bit better.